All right, so we got two different cylinder heads here. On the left, we got a stock cylinder head just with the, uh, the Dicom stock seats. And then over here, we have the cylinder head that I have designed. Um, it's the uh, stock appearing cylinder head. And uh, again, with the Dicom blue seats. Um, you could see clearly in this video uh, the differences that have been made. Um, if you see the pockmarked areas by the top, in the bottom that is the uh, original shaping um, so this area here was just filled with weld and this area down here was filled with weld so all of this material here you know that's a that's a lot of material um, to be filled in especially down in this corner here um, you know all the way level to the spark plug so it's about a finger's worth down in here um, which is about um, you know 10 cc's of volume and then uh, up in the top here um, a lot of space has been put in some material has been taken out down here so we've kind of added some but taken some out um, this is just to improve the flow this shape here um, through the testing that I do here at my house um, I have a box that I can test the uh, flow on um, and I can flow it through the exact size cylinder that we have on these engines. And this cylinder shape here is the shape of the cylinder that, um, that's the final shape that I've been, basically all the research is pointed towards that is the optimum design. Um, there's a couple measurements that are very specific to this. Um, it does involve, um, uh, the placement of the seats in the cylinder head and uh, uh, really specific angles on the floor but uh, besides that it's just a matter of welding it up um, putting on the template and uh, shaping it out so that's a closer look at the uh, cylinder head as you can see all, all of these um, there's no more machinist ridge here this is a uh, so what I've done is I take a, a new way valve seat tool like like this one here say where it has the 15 degree top cut on it and I'll extend these bits out and then I'll put it in and when I spin it around I cut the seat completely down until it cuts into the chain until it cuts into the floor of the chamber and that's what gives me the angle so this entire top from the very edge now this doesn't have 45s cutting it yet <clears throat> um, it just has it's just straight up to a 15 um, the entire 45 has been cut off so that 15 degree which is going to be the finished top cut on the uh, five angle valve job that 15 degree angle lays right all the way into the chamber all the way around on both the intake and the exhaust so this transition from this all the way from the the sharp edge of the seat all the way out is all 15 degrees which is what gives um my head such an advantage well there's a bunch of things that do but <coughs> if you look at these stock seats it's kind of hard to see now because i have the uh <coughs> the dicom on there but down here you can see you can see that machinist ridge and uh, you know, you could just see like right in this area here, right in this area here, these are all areas that have blocked the flow where all over here has been removed. There is no machinist ridge on these. Um, there's a little bit of a lip just from the, the Dicom pen that I used here. But um, there's, there's uh, zero, this is 100% smooth from the seat out. Um, and that's uh that's a fin that's a getting that's a finished combustion chamber on a stock repairing cylinder head um i have here a bunch of valves um from Ferrea. i'll just throw some Ferrea valves in for now because they look nice and we'll take a look and see how those look so we'll just go ahead and throw a 38 34 in um, that way you can see how the finished product will look 
Um, it's a really nice cylinder head. It's much, much, much better improved than the uh, stock. So we'll take those same valves and put them in a stock cylinder head. So that's that's the stock. And then that's that's the new one over here on the left. So the, the, the valves that are going to get used on this are in our racing valves that the customer sent me. So that's how it's going to have. I really like these um, Ferreira valves. Um, I have that valve. All, I have these up into a really huge valve. I'll show you. This is the uh, size valves I use. It won't even fit in this. See how it's rubbing the side of the chamber? And it had these valves, all these valves I have from Ferrari have a six millimeter stem. So I would have to change the guides to run those. But yeah, look at the size of that valve. So that's a 40, 44 millimeter, I believe. And that's a 34. So that's a 44, 34. And over here, this is a 3634. Um, I'll take and I'll put that uh, just for just for fun. I'll put the 44 in here, and you can see how it's going to hit the chamber wall. <laughs> but that's just a massive valve. You can't even see the seat anymore. <laughs> Seat's buried way down in there. So, uh, but yeah, that's a cool looking, uh, definitely a, a good looking cylinder head. Um, this is for the stock pairing. Um, and yeah, so, uh, this is going to be run with some titanium valve, um, uh, retainers. These are some that I have from Ferrea. um, that I run on these valves, the six millimeter. But uh, these are the uh, retainers that we're going to be running on this. So, uh, yeah, the next step is going to be to cut the valve, the five angle valve job, do the porting, um, punch the guides out to the porting, do the five angle valve job, put the guides back in, and, uh, you know, uh, hone and uh, size the guides. I have a specific that I set them at. Uh, 1.2 thousandths. Uh, that way you get the, the best seal. And I use a 46 um, degree angle interference on the uh, on the seats. So just wanted to do a little video on that. Um, the improvement of flow when the piston's compressing it back down, um, it's just such an improvement over that stock shape. It's just so dynamic. There's so much movement. Um, this just creates so much movement, but um, yeah, this is how you win races. Um, the people that come here, they come here for a reason. I'm the best kept secret, Paul's Carts. So if you need anything, I'm Paul, and uh, this is the type of work I do. Um, I'll uh, do another video when this cylinder head's all finished up. So until then, guys, thanks, and uh, have a nice day.